Palmer High School. It's a Class A, Class 6A matchup yes. between two great rivals, the Butler High School Gold Tornado and the Pine Richland Rams here from Butler High School. Good evening, this said Cody along with the Tiger Albert Campman to bring you all of tonight's action between these two teams. Pine won the first meeting 69-59. Albert down through the years, it's been a great rivalry. Going back to the days of Phil Jakovic when the Rams won back-to-back -back titles and then Butler beat them two great games in the year that Butler won a WPL championship. For Butler, it's been a little bit of a struggle since they knocked off undefeated North Allegheny, 82 to 77. They've lost back-to-back -back section games, got crushed by North Hills, 84 to 48. Went on the road and lost to Seneca Valley. The Raiders are a hot team right now, six and six, with back-to-back -back wins over NA and Butler. They're at North Hills tonight. Pine, on the other hand, Albert, they started off one and three, lost three straight games to three real good teams, Upper St. Clair and M Mount Lebanon. They lost three games by a total of eight points. Since then, they've won six of their last eight games. They're three and two in the section. Butler's two and four. Big section game for both of these teams. Well, I would use the word critical with Butler. This is a critical game on the, because it's a home game. The home, this home floor being two and four, you must win this game tonight. I don't. Uh, you hate to put a circle around a game this early in the year, Eddie, but losing once to Pine Ridge already. And I think, it's, I think it could be a tie at the end. And you know, you want to make sure you have the tiebreakers to go in. And you're right, this is a crucial game because they have to go back to Pine Richmond for game number three, such as it is in the section. And as we talked on our show tonight, uh, North Hills is dropping out of 6A. So now you got a quandary with 6A next year as, as North Hills goes down to 5A with all these players returning for them. Bad news for 5A, but for 6A, now they're, they're down to 11 teams. If for basketball in 6A, we already know the predicament in football down to five. So what do you do next year? Do you have you have two conferences and you and you play so many games? Uh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna have to play like in your own conference, everyone two and maybe one in the other one to get enough games in. And you you gave a solution right there. You said I don't have a solution. This time I do. They're going two conferences. They're gonna cross. They're gonna cross one game. Gonna have they're, to, they're gonna make it work. Yes, like, like they do in, in a lot of uh, the uh, major divisions. Yeah, that's what they're that gonna they do. do. Yep. Hey, please stand and join us in our national anthem. Officials in a positive manner. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Performing the Star Bank Spangled Banner this evening, Butler Jr. Miss Madison Wheeler. rendition of the national anthem by a Butler cheerleader, Madison Wheeler. Albert, I'd, I'd explain, you coached for a long time, Butler played their best game, knocked off an undefeated North Allegheny team. It was either 82 to 70 or 84, 77. Since then, they lost two out of their last three and two section games to North Hills and Seneca Valley and have struggled to put points on the board. Yeah, it's a, it's a style of matchups, Eddie. North Allegheny really opens the court up. Number more than anybody three, in the league. Uh, Seneca Valley closes it down a little more. 
North, North Hills is just better. North Hills is the best team in the league, hands down. But everybody else is up for grabs. I think it's a style play. That's why these two usually play close games, because they play very similar. And so I look for another close game tonight. So this is an experienced Pine Richland team that last year lost the WPL Championship game to Upper St. Clair in a real good battle. Bob Petcash in his second year has done a very good job. Yeah, and, and uh, I could tell watching his kids play that he knows his basketball. And we know that Mac Clement does a great job at Butler. So, so neither coach is going to get one up tonight. It's going to be up to the players, no question. Devin Carney, Butler's leading scorer, averaging 26 points a game. And for Pine, uh, Joseph Dutowski, he averages 17 points a game. And a big guy inside. Butler's going to have their hands filled with Luke Chanhan, a 6'4 senior. He averages about 14, 15 a game. Does a great job off the glass. So Tra Charlie Cranebucker is going to have a strong matchup against the, uh, against uh, Shanahan here tonight. I saw Luke Shanahan play in uh, AAU, and he's grown up in, the, in a basketball family that has went, went way back to when I coached, and so he knows the game. Uh, it's going to be the secondary scores tonight, Eddie. We've seen Pine Richard and Butler play many times, and there's always somebody that steps up that you don't expect in this game. All right, starting lineup for the Pine Ridge and Rams, seven and five, three and two in section play. Andrew Alexander, 5'10", senior at guard. Andrew Swarthout, a 6'1", senior at guard. Luke Shanahan, 6'4", senior at forward. Joseph Dudkowski, a 6'3", senior at forward. And Nathan Zavasky, a 6'1", senior at guard. For Butler, it's uh, Devin Carney, 6'1", senior at guard. Rain Gratzmiller, a 6'1", senior at guard. Matt Clement, a 6'2", junior at guard. Charles Cranebark, a 6'4", senior at forward. And Colin Patterson, a 6'2", senior at forward. Pine winning the first meeting, 69 to 59. These kids know each other so well. When they come out on this court, I love, they got smiles on their faces because they played against them so many times. And, and, and Pine's the only team in the section that's given North Hills a game. Right. Otherwise, North Hills has blown everybody yes, else good out. point. Cranebucker against Shanahan at center court. Tip over to the Rams. Andrew Alexander. Butler starting in his zone, Eddie. Missed shot, rebound, Shanahan back to Alexander. He loses the ball, taken by Patterson to Butler and over to Madden Clement. Now to Gratz Miller. Patterson, back out to Carney, turns, drives, down the lane, layup, good. That was easy, no help defense. You gotta have some help. When he gets that ball, you gotta have help defense. I mean, he, he struggled the last few games, Albert, uh, having only scored 11 and 13 points in his last two games. Well, that's a good way to start, Eddie. If you're, if you're struggling, drive it drive to the it. Hoop. Yes, drive it, that's correct. Two nothing, Butler, the Rams inbound it. Dutkowski. They're in a big 1-3-1 here, Eddie. Big 1-3, the corners will be open. Three-point attempt from the corner for the Rams. He gets a open. charity hop, and the basket is good by Andrew Schwartz, who father played here years ago for the Tornado. Now a little bit of press over to Clement. Back outside. To Patterson, and over to Gratzmiller. Clement with it. Most purposes, uh, Albert, that Pine's been a pretty good defensive team. Clement back outside, there's a collision, no foul called, turnover, driving all the way down. Gutkowski, he misses and put back by Shanahan. They're definitely letting him play early. They're letting him play early. I, I like well, that. If you're going to do that, then stay whole consistent game, the whole with game. it. That's yeah, right. don't change later on. That's correct. They call a crucial foul with time someone out. brushing someone. So, timeout taken by Butler. Pined up five to two. Wow, this is an early timeout, Eddie. Uh, yes, very early. And uh, why uh, do you think that is? Uh, I think it's the effort. I don't think it has anything to do with X and O's. It's an effort timeout. I would not ever call a timeout this early in the game because I always want to save timeouts for the fourth quarter ready. So everybody has their own philosophy. I always, I always, want, to, I always want to save it for the uh, fourth quarter. Yep, I would agree. So we'll see what happens if this timeout doesn't. I know 
Uh, Coach Clement was very, very displeased with their efforts the last two games, especially against uh, North Hills, and they got run out of the gym 84-48, to and then went on the road and uh, caught Seneca Valley at the wrong time. Second shots are effort plays. You know, you have, and they've got, Pine Richardson already has two or three second shots. Cannot allow that. Clement bringing it across midcourt for the Tornado, down 5-2 in the early going here. In the corner to Gratz Miller. Turns in the paint back outside. Clement with a long three-pointer, misses its target. Rebound taken by Shanahan. Up court quickly. Three-point attempt from the corner, no good by Swartout. Rebound to Butler. Crane Bucker. Crane Bucker had a better, better effort already on the board, so Matt Clement, maybe his timeout worked. Now Butler lives and dies, uh, Albert on a three-point shot. Well, it looks like they're going to be patient until Carney gets the ball in his hand, and Carney's going to go one-on-one. I, I can see that happening. Here he goes right there. Pulls up, takes an off-balance shot, rebound underneath Clement, reverse layup, no good. Crane Bucker with it, and the foul called underneath. Carney got fouled, Eddie. Foul committed by number 34, Dudkowski. Dudkowski picks up his first. First team foul. Patterson, the inbounder for Butler. Nice, nice out of bounds play. Nice inside, and the layup by Gratz Miller. Very nice out of bounds play. Curl. Bought the Ram sleeping. That was a curl. Turnover. Taken by Carney. Another foul right and there. He gets a blocking foul. That's called on Jamison O'Toole. His first, second team foul on the rim. To stop Carney, you have to have a second guy available because he's usually going to go off the dribble by the first guy or have a pull-up jumper. Gratz Miller with it. 5-4 Pine with the one-point lead here at the five-minute mark of the first period. Carney with it. Gets a little bit of room. Pull, and I don't know how he made can't that one, Albert. That. Can't stop that shot. Drains a three, puts Butler up seven to five. That's a college shot, Eddie. Dutkowski for three. No good. Rebound. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Butler's basketball. For most people, that would be a takeout the guy shot. <laughs> for him, you just, just let him go. Yeah. Most coaches would say, hey, Sit down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not him. No, that's a, that's a shot. Well, he once he gets hot, it, 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 that, that could be an indication that he's on his game here tonight. Now he's going to drive baseline, puts up a floater. soft jumper. Beautiful floater. It, it, that just that three-pointer just opened things up for him. Butler now with a four-point lead, 9-5. to five. Well, whatever Coach Clement told him, the timeout worked. So let's put it that way. Well, when you have a kid like Carney, you can't. You you got to let him go. You got to let him play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, can't he, take he, away he, his he, aggressiveness. He's a thoroughbred. No question about that. Braylon Littlejohn, the six foot sophomore in the lineup, replacing Colin Patterson for about the last time we did that game against NA. He came off the bench, scored 26. Three pointer from the corner for the Rams. No good. Rebound. The putback is no good by Jameson O'Toole, and he's fouled. Now, right there, Carney did not go in and rebound. So, if you're, if you're going to let him live with the shots he shot, yes. then you're going to say to him, listen, I'll let you shoot all you want out there, but then on defensive end, you're going to go rebound. Foul on Gratz Miller, his first. The weakness against the zone has always been twofold. Number one, transition, you could get easy shots. And number two, it's hard to rebound out of his own, Eddie. The tool makes the first one. Makes them both. Nine to seven, Butler with a two-point lead for 10 mark here of this first period of play. Nice, nice form on that shot, free throws. Carney loses it, saved by Gratz Miller. Cross-court pass, Clement. And he fires it in the corner to Braylon Littlejohn, reverse layup, no go. Rebound by Shanahan of the Rams. Quickly up court, Dutkowski. He's gonna back it off. In the corner to O'Toole. Round the horn, back outside. Zavasky with it, drive underneath, reverse layup is good, but there's a foul call before that. It was the correct call, it was on the floor. That's on Cranebucker. His first, second team foul on Butler. 
That was an excellent job, Eddie, of moving the ball side to side, making the defense move. Once it moves, then you can attack with the dribble. Colin Castile in the lineup for Butler, 6'4", junior. Now they scored easy basket off out of bounds. Shanahan on the layup, and we're tied at nine apiece. So Clement going for a little bit of size with the 6'4", junior. Colin Castile. Well, that foul on Dutkowski, that's not good. That's his second on their leading yep. score. The leading score goes down five. early. 318 left in the first quarter. Clement, back outside, Kratz, Miller in the paint, turns, pivots, in the corner, Braylon Littlejohn drive, kicks it back outside, Kratz, Miller, and he throws it away. Uh, Castile with it, loose ball picked up by the Rams. Driving down and fouled on his attempt on a layup is Owen Llewellyn, the 6'3", junior forward. Turnovers lead the transition baskets. Madden Clement with the foul, his first 13 foul on Butler. Both teams, Eddie, use both the right hand and left hand dribble well. You can tell their skills are, uh, are developed. Llewellyn to shoot two. Misses the first one. He has too much left hand on the ball, Eddie. He had a brother a few years ago who's a real good guard for the Rams. And he misses them both. Yeah. Get that left hand off and get the right and fall through with the right hand. Brayden Little John brings it across midcourt for Butler. We're tied at nine apiece here, 250 to go in the first. Off balance, three point attempt by Carney, no good. Rebound Shanahan. Quickly up court, the 6 4 senior forward. Zavisky in the corner. Back outside to Shanahan. Back to Zavisky. Looks off a three and nearly throws this one away. Saved the last second by the Rams. Drive to the basket and the layup is good on a great save and a basket by Andrew Alexander. Should never happen against zone, Eddie. You got too many guys that can stop the ball. You have to stop the basketball. Good drive, though. He had his head up, saw the court. Albert, right here in this first quarter, see a lot of quickness. A uh, beautiful play there by Little John. Braylon Little John with his first basket. Shot miss, rebound battle underneath, last touch by the Rams. Pirates runs the ball out of the net, transition basketball. Andy Schwert out back in the lineup for Butler, and he replaces Jameson uh, for Pine, replacing Jameson O'Toole. Inbound to Corny. 11 11, a minute 50 to go here in the first. They're running two guys at him. Grayland, little John. Nice pass. In the corner to Gratz Miller for three. Nice pass. Gratz Miller's follow through was excellent. Three pointer from the corner for the Rams. An air ball. First bad shot by Pine Richland. Gratz Miller with it. Over to Carney. Off balance, lobbing. Oh, beautiful play. Carney with 10 this period. Butler up 16 to 11. Both these teams can score, I'll say that. 5 0 run. Shanahan with a drive and a lay in. Number 11, Luke Shanahan. He has six. They want to go to the big guy inside. Little John with it. It's been a hectic, hectic first quarter. Hectic is the word. That's why I said, remember I told you that both teams are very similar? They take, they, they, move the, they move the ball up the floor quickly and take the first available shot. That's why it's, you, these, these games are so close. Checking in the lineup for Butler is C.J. Singleton. He is a Notre Dame recruit for track, cross country, drive to the basket, good! By Carney. No, that didn't go in, Eddie. I didn't go in. No, it rolled off the did yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> I, I took my <laughs> eyes off it. I already had him marked. It, it was good. Drive to the basket, shot block. Three point attempt from the corner, no good. Tip away, rebound. Taken by a Little John. In the corner, back to Little John. He went to shoot three. No good. Ricochet and a rebound. 
taken by Swerdot of the Rams. One thing that's changed in basketball immensely, nobody plays one shot, Eddie. Now we get a pushing foul called underneath this on the Tornado. You gotta let that one go, Eddie. If you let them go here, you gotta let them go down there. A foul on Carney, his first. Fourth team foul on Butler this half. I played for the best coach in Pennsylvania history. And with the 35 seconds were under, it's an automatic one shot. Nobody does it today. Nobody. Every Everybody game. Just, they just keep playing. 25 seconds to go here in the first. Butler up by three. Shanahan. Three point attempt way outside, and it's nailed by Nathan Savasky. Check that. Jameson O'Toole with that tray. 16 16. Little John with it in the corner over to Gratz Miller. Spin. Back outside. Shot at the buzzer is no good by Singleton. That's the end of one quarter of play, 16-16. Well, when you, when you anal analyze the game, the, the game, the pace is really fast. Who's gonna help Carney for Butler? And who's gonna, and in Pine Richland gonna continue to dominate the boards on second shots. That's what I see in the first half, first quarter. Well, for Butler, Carney had nine at first quarter, Gratz Miller five and two from Braylon Littlejohn, and for the Rams, three for Swordout, six for Shanahan, five for O'Toole, and two for Alexander. Yeah, it's exciting. It's an exciting brand of ball. If, you're, if you like offensive basketball, you, you come to the right place, Eddie. <laughs> the, the, the pace is hectic, and you see, some games Butler only plays seven players. Already tonight, Clement has gone with uh, nine players in his lineup he's changed probably to keep up with the pace of how fast the pine plays i think he talked about effort in there if you're not giving the effort he's going to take you out and the secondly is the pace that i think it's, it's twofold of course pine is pine has used seven players so far too in this first period sevens uses the magic number in high school eight eight is the swing man you can go both inside and outside but but when you get to nine that means you're playing really really fast here we go, underway here, second period to play. It's Butler 16, Pine Ridge and 16. Butler 8 and 4 in the season, 2 and 4 in section play. The Rams 7 and 5, 3 and 2 in a section. Little John with it, over to Carney. He's going to drive, off balance shot, rolls off the rim, flicked back outside to Carney. Patterson for 3, and he nails it. Big guy, got some form there, Eddie. Big, he, he, he's how about just a, that? He's just a quiet, steady performer for Butler. He has good feet on the de on the defensive side of the, of the floor, too. Butler with the three-point lead. Rams with the basketball. Swart out with it. Over to Alexander. Back out to him. Back in the corner to O'Toole. Rotating the ball. Three-point attempt. Swart out, and he nails it. Too easy, Eddie. Nice ball movement by the Rams. Yeah, that was too easy. They swung the ball around the floor again. You're right, Eddie. 19-19. Well, we always expect when these two teams hook up some of the great games down through the years we've had the privilege of doing. Carney with it. Comes out of a crowd and loses the basketball. Last touch by the Rams. Gratz Miller back in the lineup for the Tornado. He replaces Carney. You don't often see Carney. He won't be out for long. Oh, no. He won't be out unless, unless this team shows that they can do it without him. That, that's the key. Patterson. They, that's what the kids should want to do right now. Gratz nice Miller, move. spin move, misses. Rebound, Cranebucker misses, and a foul call underneath. They're going to call it on Cranebucker. That's his second. He's one guy Butler can't afford. Albert, he's the only big guy they have inside to go against Shanahan. You lose him, you're going to see a right. steady diet to Shanahan inside. Yeah, when you make that move, it's really much simpler a game if you play off two feet and finish off off the glass with two feet. 6.40 to go here in the first half. We're tied at 19 apiece. Shanahan back outside. Swartout over to Andrew Alexander. He's going to drive, kicks it back outside. Swartout back outside. Alexander for three. Rolls off the rim, rebound taken by Little John. Over to Patterson. Over to Gratz Miller.
Cranebucker, top of the key. Back over to Patterson. And now Little John. Clement with it. This pattern's been run by everybody in Pennsylvania, Eddie. We call it Clarion. Everybody has their own name for it. Looks like the old Princeton set. There's Gratz Miller with a drive. Good drive. And he's fouled. On defense, Eddie, you always want to force the ball to the sideline. You get into the middle, you can get to the basket, or you can feed both ways. Never let him drive down the middle. Foul on Zabaski, his first, fourth team foul. Gratz Miller misses the first one. Boy, that's Jeez. unusual. He's a good shooter. Very unusual. Rebound taken by Shanahan, brings it up across midcourt. Shanahan, Shanahan does, does a little it, does everything, doesn't he? Eddie? He can play guard, Albert. Yes, he, he handles can. the ball well yes, enough to, to do that. In AAU, I swear I saw him play a lot outside. Ball kicked in the corner, back outside. Over to Alexander, kicks it in the corner here. Three point attempt, and it's all net by Jameson O'Toole, his second tray of the game. And the Rams up by three, 22 to 19. You, you kids watching out there, watch O'Toole shoot the ball. He has perfect form. Gratz Miller with a drive to the basket, and that shot blocked, ripped out of the hands of Patterson. Very impressed with Pine's ball movement. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are off the dribble and off the pass. So Little John will inbound it for the Tornado. 5.09 to go here in the first half. There's a shot by Patterson, and it's blocked. Blocked by Swartout, goes out of bounds, retained by Butler. Early, it looks like Patterson has to work on their out of bounds defense. Butler's got the ball and got good shots. Each time the ball's been out, out underneath the basket. Patterson on the inbound, gets it in. Little John wants to shoot a three off the rim. Cranebucker gets it, saves it, flips it outside. Gratz Miller back to Cranebucker. Baseline shot, no go. Tipped away, tipped over to the Rams. Andrew Alexander, layup. Oh, how he nifty, neatly got that in there. Good crossover. 24-19. Quick inbound down the floor. Rams up by five, and Carney ready to check into the game with 4.43 to go here in the first half. Foul going to the basket. Foul on Swartout, his first 15 foul. Gratzmiller goes to the line. He's just there and missed two. Makes this one. Devin Carney checks in the lineup for Butler along with Colin Castile. Crane Bucker and Braylon Littlejohn out. Both fouls made by Gratzmiller. 24-21, Pine with the lead. 4.35 to go here in the first half. O'Toole with it to Swartok. Back in the corner, O'Toole, baseline jumper. Too strong, tipped away, rebound taken by Shanahan. Put back, no good, rebound by Gratzman or the Tornado. Another second shot, Eddie. Harney drives down the lane, shot, banks it in. 11 in the game for Carney. Rams drive right back and fouled hard. Was Andrew Alexander, he'll go to the line to shoot two. The first thing you teach defensively is stop the ball. Stop the ball, no one stop the ball. Castile's first 15 foul on Butler. Excellent drive with his head up. Alexander makes the first one. Alexander has a, di a different kind of shot, brings the ball back up over his head. Owen Llewellyn checks in the lineup, replacing Zavasky for the Rams. Makes them both. Twenty-six, twenty-three. The Rams with the lead. Three fifty to go here in the first half. Gratz Miller jumper, long, right on target. Right on target off the back of the rim. Drive to the basket, sword out, and he lays it in. Three, Just beat the tornado out. down the court, Albert. Yeah, you have to run back. You have to get the care. 
28-23, the Rams with the lead. Oh, 3.30 long, I mean an oh, NBA geez. long three-point attempt. Rebound by Shanahan. Wow, that was, uh, that cup of coffee was out too and far And he, he loses the ball over to Gratz Miller. And he drives it, puts it in on that turnover. From half court, you try to get there in two dribbles, Eddie. Take three, it's too many. Andrew Alexander with the ball for the Rams. They lead by three, with three to play here in the first. In the corner, back outside, three-point attempt. No good by Schwerda, and a steal on the play, and the feed underneath and the layup is good by O'Toole. What a feed. Looked like uh, that was Alex Zander on good that feed. feed. Yes, it was. He stole the ball and dished it back inside. The whole key to it was another second shot, Eddie. Great Chief court, can't yes, second Alvin. shots. Second shots will kill you, yeah. right? Pine Rich is killing them on the boards. you got to give them Pine Rich credit. They are going to the bank board. A foul on Carney. That would be his second if that's on that's, him. It was on him. 16 foul on Butler. Shot missed. 30 to 25, Pine with 240 to go. Clement with it. Over to Carney, pulls up, triggers a three, no good, tipped away. Rebound taken by the Rams. Shanahan with it, kicks Carney, it in the corner. Carney shoots the ball got better going to his left than he does going to his right, Eddie. Shanahan, turn, Dukowski, and he nails it. Nice feed by Shanahan. Shanahan's been the star of the night, no question. And believe it or not, Albert, that's Dukowski, their leading scorer's first basket. Butler has quit moving there. Now the ball's settled in one spot. Rams up by seven with two to play here in the first half. Little John. Early in the game, they had great ball movement and dribble movement. Now they're just they're settling. Clement. Over to Little John. Switches hands on the dribble layup, no good. Rebound cast still, and we get a jump ball called. I think that's what, and it favors Pine Richland. Swart out to check back in the lineup for Butler. He's going to give Shanahan a little bit of a break. Not a bad idea here in the final. Yeah, you want to have him fresh down the stretch. Butler has settled for the last five possessions. That you can't. That means settle. That means you you stop moving offensively. Three point attempt. Oh, in and out, but the putback right there, Johnny on the spot was Swartop. Just no one blocking off for the tornado. Yeah, no rebounding at all. 34 25 the Rams with a minute 30 to go here in this first Look half. Look at this of lack play. of movement, Eddie. Look at this. No one's moving. See that ha happens and it stalls out your offense. You a nice drive to the basket by Little John. His second basket. See if Butler can get a defensive stop here. 34 27. Rams with the lead. Dutkowski pulls up, jumper, no good, rebound. There's that second shot, uh, hustle by Swartout. Llewellyn with a four, three point attempt, no good. And then Tate still in the ball and putting it back is Dutkowski. Just the second shot's killing Butler here. The Rams yeah. go up 34 uh, 27. Amazing how many times they got second shots at it. Amazing. I mean, you just feel confident taking the shots. You so know somebody's going anyway, to get right. it back. <laughs> Down to 30 seconds to play here in the first half. Gratz Miller with it. Over to Carney. Carney wants to drive, kicks it back outside. Clement, 4-3, way off the mark. And the ball saved by Butler. Little John on the drive baseline. He's blocked, flips it back outside. Cross court pass, Gratz Miller with a drive. And the basket's no good, but he's fouled. I had already mentioned this once, and once again, I'll mention it again. 12 seconds left in the half. The worst you want to be down going down nine. If he happens to miss two free throws here, they can be down 12 going the second half. Foul on Jamison O'Toole, his second. Gratz Miller at the line, makes the first one. He's three for five at the line. Crane Bucker checks back in. Coach Clement wants a little bit of size here in his final 12 seconds. Does Crane Bucker have two fouls? Does Crane Bucker have two fouls? Yes. I, I wouldn't put him back in the game. I, I don't want to take the chance. I take him and Carney both out. They both be on the bench right now for me. I, I wouldn't want them to get their third foul. 
36-29, 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Dutkowski with it. He's, and he's fouled on the reach in. I hope that's not on Cranebucker. If it is, that's his third. That foul is given to number 22 of Butler, Charlie Cranebucker. I just that, said that's it. <laughs> it. You just said it, Albert. That's his third yeah, foul. Yeah, I mean, there's was no reason for him to be on the floor. No, no. I, 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 if that happens the second half, you're just going to see uh, Shanahan camp inside. Butler have no answer for him. Five, Clement. Okay, Dutkowski going to the line. He has four points in a game, his first trip to the foul line. And one of the things you'll get from the from uh, our, our show, Eddie, is we, we don't second guess, we first guess. And if we're wrong, we'll admit it. You cannot, you cannot, after 15, with an, under a minute, anybody has two fouls, you gotta take them out of the game. Albert, if you're Bob Petcash, your coach for Pine, your leading scorer only has five points, and yet you have an eight point lead, possibly, a nine-point lead going into the half. Owen Llewellyn. Yeah, he keeps saying, go rebound, boys. He keeps saying, I think that's what he told him before the game, go rebound. But you have to feel calm. Your leading scorer is going to come up big in the second half. Yes. Carney with it. We're down to four seconds He'll of pull play. Up. He'll you know, pull he went, up here. He'll that's pull a monster three-point attempt. Up. That's the end of the first half of play with the score. Pine Richland, 38, 22 points in this second quarter for the Rams, and Butler 29, uh, outscoring Butler 22 to 13 in that second quarter. And a lot of the second shots, as you said, Albert. Yeah, at halftime, Coach Clement's gonna be, he has to change his zone. I go two, three look. Uh, the one, three, one is spread out. They're killing him on the boards. And from Pine Richland, I would tell him, have a second guy ready for Carney as he goes, and keep playing the way we're playing. And we don't want to change much. Just crucial. Crane Bucker with three fouls as we go in Major. here at the half. We will take a break and come back with the second half of play with the Rams leading the Tornado 38 to 29 here at the half. From high school sports to community events and beyond, you can find all of your favorite local shows on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Hi, I'm Trisha from the Butler Buzz. You can watch my show or other local programming like Up for Adoption or Hunting Nostalgia only on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Check us out right now on Channel 100 or search Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube for playlists and much more. Spirit, town pride, community. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Greetings everyone, Matthew Kramer, music director of the Butler County Symphony here, inviting you to a musical tour of the Scottish Highlands. We begin our program with Hector Berlioz's Rob Roy Overture, before turning to Max Brooks' Scottish Fantasy, a work that's based off of numerous Scottish folk tunes. Our violinist is Jinju Cho, who has won first prize at so many violin competitions around the world, a marvelous young violinist. On the second half of the program, we have Felix Mendelssohn's Symphony No. 3, The Scotch, which was composed in 1842, but inspired by a trip that he took to the Scottish Highlands in 1829. A marvelous all-Scotch program. We hope you can join us February 5th at 7.30. Back here at halftime, the score is Pine Richland, 38, Butler 29. Let's look at that first half scoring for Butler. Devin Carney, 11 in that first half, nine in the first quarter. 10 for Rain Gratzmiller, three for Colin Patterson, and two, check that, four for Braylon Littlejohn. And for the Rams, Owen Llewellyn, he didn't score, missed two foul shots. Andrew Swartout, he had 10. Luke Shanahan, six. Jo Joseph Dutkowski, he had four in that first half. Jameson O'Toole, he had 10, and six for Andrew Alexander. Jameson O'Toole has stepped up in this game. I, I said, who's gonna step up and, and, and step up and score when the leading scorer of the second? He's had a great, he had a great first half. Two fouls on Carney, one on Gratzmiller, one on Clement, three on Cranebucker, which is crucial. One on Swartow, two on Dutkowski, one on Zavaski, and two on Jameson O'Toole. Let's see if let's see if Butler changes their zone look. I would think they'll go two three in the second half. I don't think they'll stay in that one three one. Or they may go some man. I think I think Pirates will stay in there man to man. All right, here we go. Under, underway here, second half of play. Butler two and four in section play. The Rams three and two. Clement with it over to Carney. Twist around the circle over to Clement for three. 
Off the front of the rim, rebound, Dutkowski of the Rams. That one has to go in, Eddie. Yes. That one has to go in. Dutkowski, middle of the lane, kicks it back outside to Swartok. Nope, he stayed in the 1-3-1, one, one, Eddie. I'm surprised. O'Toole for three. No good. Tipped away. Rebound taken by Clement of the Tornado. Good Over rebound. to Carney. Pulls up, fires a three. No good. Rebound, loose ball taken by Carney. He wants to drive baseline. Kicks it back outside Clement for a long three, and he nets it. I like, that. I like that he did not hesitate after missing the first one, Eddie. That's the first good. basket of the game. That is great job by Clement. Dutkowski, Shanahan for three. He nets it. The big guy inside or out, he can score either place. Like we said, he played guard in AU, so I, can, I know he can shoot the basketball. 41 to 32, the Rams. Just underway in your third quarter, Ed Cody and the Tiger, Albert Campman. Cranebucker has it. Back outside, Gratz Miller. The Cranebucker, spin move, baseline. Wants to get it back outside to Clement. Over to Carney. Guarded by Dutkowski. Drive, pulls up. This time feeds it off to Clement. Baseline drive, Cranebucker. And he gets his first nice ball of movement. the game. Nice Cranebucker. ball movement that time, Eddie. 41 34, the Rams. Too many gaps, too many wide open shots, Eddie. Three point attempt, no good by Alexander. Over to Gratz Miller. Gratz Miller just taking his time over to Crane Bucker. To Carney. Feeds it back inside, Crane Bucker loses it and throws it away. Dukowski with it, he's gonna drive. Shanahan, turnaround shot, and a nice left-handed shot by Swartout. That makes it 43 to 34. Rams with a nine point lead. Swerked out now with 12 points in the game. Good left hand there. Gratz Miller over to Clement. Flops it inside to Crane Buck. He's trapped underneath, feeds it back to Colin Patterson, and he lays it in. Nice feed. By Crane Bucker. Crane Bucker is playing an excellent game. They need him on the floor. There's Dutkowski. It's way too easy, Eddie. Way too easy. Eight in the game. Pine Russian is, is moving that basketball, moving themselves. And a save there by the Rams. Over to Andrew Alexander. Quickly up court. Baseline drive. Kicks it outside. Three-point attempt. No good. Rebound tip. No good. Tip back in. No good. Battle for the rebound. And finally saved by the Tornado. Cranebucker, now to Gratz Miller in the corner. Carney wants to put up a three. No good, and he's fouled. Never foul a three-point shooter, Eddie. That's a, that's a never. A foul by Andrew Alexander. His first. Foul committed by number three, Andy Swartout. No, check that. That's Swartout, his second. Hands straight up. When his feet leaves the ground, your feet leave the ground, but you don't, you don't go into them. Carney makes the first one. He's going to get three the hard way. Or maybe we'll say the easy way. Yes. He's such an excellent foul shooter. Love his tight backspin. A lot of times you can tell a great shooter when that, that backspin is tight. Braden Little John in the lineup for Butler replacing Charlie Cranebucker. And Carney makes all three of them. He has 14 points in the game, 45-30. Now they went 2-3 zone, and they, did, they finally made the change. Okay. You like that? Yes. Oh, I've been waiting for that. It's a better rebounding, it's a better rebounding zone, Eddie. Jameson O'Toole with it. Alexander to Shanahan, back to Alexander. You can see there's not as many as openings if you, if you keep moving your feet and sliding hard. Find not now if Pine can be patient against right. this. Good point. You can see that it's a lot harder just by how long it took them to solve this one. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebound taken by the Rams. 
Back outside, Shanahan with the rebound, and nice. he puts in oh, a three. You about playing he got a great the rebound, game. kept yes. it on, got it back, and made the three. Is he playing an outstanding game? 12 in the game for the big guy. 48 39 the Rams. Kratz Miller. Over to Braylon Littlejohn. 3.30 to go here in the third. Patterson with it. Kratz Miller, and he has the ball ripped away, but a foul called on the reach in. And that will go against Andrew Alexander, and that will be his first. Both these teams are hard to guard, Andy. I'll say that. Neither, neither team is, is going to be shut down all year offensively. Unless you've got a shot blocker at the rim. Grant Miller takes it on the inbound. Rams up by nine. Dish inside. Clement, turnaround shot. Nice move in the pivot by Matt Clement. You never usually see him down there. Right. But a nice move. Good call by Coach Clement, posting up the guard. 48-41 to Rams with the lead. Kutkowski with it. Outside to Shanahan. Back to Dukowski, baseline drive. Back to Dukowski. Drives, kicks it over, swart out for three. In and out. Loose ball, rebound, taken by Butler. Braylon Littlejohn with it. Kicks it over. Nice the pass. And all net on a tray by guess who? Devin Carney. 48 44 now. Pass underneath, stolen by Little John, knocked out of bounds. It still will be Butler's basketball. Little John made a great pass on the other end. You see this 2-3 zone is causing them much more problems. Eddie. Yes. I think at some point they get to recognize and you get a clear shot anywhere around the paint, you got to yep, take it. got to take it. 2.20 to go here in the third quarter of play. The Rams up 48-44. They've tried to face guard Carney all night. Post him up again. And put Clement back inside, turn around shot, and he banks it in. And this change of strategy working for the tornado. They're now within two after being down by nine at the half. Yeah, there's some good strategy here by Coach Clement. Post it up his son and then go in two three zone. We'll see the let's see what changes the time which it makes. Down underneath in a lane. Beautiful and a nice ball movement. Shanahan. Beautiful short corner play. That's good coaching. Also down by Coach Petcash. That's great down the other end. 14 in the game for Shanahan. Eight this quarter. Minute 40 to go in the third. Pine up 50 to 46 in a typical Butler Pine battle. Tipped away underneath Clement. A shot blocked. Taken by Andrew Alexander. He's going to. Uh, Butler they wants a foul. They're not getting it. Here's a drive. Oh, nice feed underneath by Shanahan. Dukowski with the layup. 52 46, drive to the basket, lay in by Little John. Minute to go here in the third. Pine up by four, 52 48. Baseline drive, kick back outside. Shanahan for three. Check that. That was Schwartz out yes. for three, short on it. Little John with it. 45 seconds to go here in the third. Pine up by four. 19-point quarter for Butler. There's a drive. Oh, that looked like money in the bank. Lost by. That was the big miss. That was a big miss already. Yes, Pine gets it right back. But Butler lost the handle on that basketball. Kutkowski with it. Final 20 seconds. The Rams going to take the final shot here of this third quarter. Andrew Alexander, the Jameson O'Toole. Oh, fine, what a nice move. He sees the sitting there, the Butler interior sleeping Great on pass. that. 54 48, six seconds to go here. Gratz Miller feeds, and the ball tipped away, knocked out of bounds, and a nice defensive play by Andrew one, Alexander. 1.2 1. seconds, Eddie. Owen Llewellyn checks in. And number 10, Levin Dolan. Number 10, Andrew Lamondola. Butler to inbound and stolen by the Rams. That's the end of the third quarter of play. With the score, Pine Richland 54, Butler 48. Butler outscoring the Rams in that quarter, 19 to 16. So the Rams, instead of a nine point lead, they take a six point lead into the fourth.
Well, when we saw the first adjustment made by Coach Clement going to the 2-3 zone, that hampered Pine Ridge a little bit, slowed the tempo down, and then Pine Ridge made the, made the change of going to the short corner, which was a good coaching move, and got a high-low and low-high baskets. Now we'll see what the next adjustment can be. Well, look, look for a great wild fourth quarter. I think so, too. The Pine, Albert already, one, two, three, four guys in double figures. That's the way you win a game, right, Eddie? Yeah. 12 for um, Swardog, 14 for Shanahan, 10 for Dutkowski. Ryan Porch checks in the lineup for Butler. Six foot junior guard. A nice quarter there for Devin Carney who had uh, six points, he has 17 in the game. 10 for Gratz Miller. Seven for Clement, all his points coming in that third quarter. Yeah, they posted him up, how about that, Eddie? Nice move, nice uh -huh. strategy. Pine Richardson gets the ball coming out. Always, always good to try to get that first basket. Now they went to a 3-2 zone, Eddie. Andrew Lamondola in the lineup at guard, sophomore for the Rams. In the corner, Dutkowski. Back outside to Andrew Alexander. Over to Lamondola. Against a perimeter defense, the 3-2 zone is, is always the best one because you have all, all the front covered. You, tr you, try to, you try to get the ball into the middle of the defense in, in the mid, mid, mid post. And, and you can be patient with a six point lead. Find your spots right. and still eat up some clock. Dutkowski with it, top of the corner. This defense has been their best defense so far, no question about that. Shanahan with it, over to Dutkowski. The problem with it, though, Pirates has a six-point lead, Eddie. Yes, so they don't have to be in a hurry, right? they, they can milk some clock and be very selective in their shooting. Oh, there's the backdoor pass, and a great defensive play and a shot block by Rain Gratzmiller. Jameson O'Toole. Back in the lineup for the Rams, replacing Andrew Lamondola. Butler's going man to man, Eddie, for the first time all night. Man what to man. You, what do you think about that switch? I think he saw the pace was being slowed down by Pine Richland. Dutkowski. Oh, he bailed him fouled. out. He bailed him out. That was not a good call, Eddie. That's a bailout. Well, number one, Rand Miller at the line, number 34. My grandson's asking what a bailout means. That means a referee calls a foul on a bad shot. That's what a bailout is. Gratz Miller picks up his second foul. Dutkowski at the line. He now has 13 in the game, four shy of his season average is 17. Lamondola checks back in the lineup for the Rams, replacing Andrew Alexander. Number 10, Lamondola. And Dutkowski makes them both. 56-48, the Rams. Fourth quarter, 6.50 to play. Pace is slowed down here, Eddie. Carney, off balance, three-pointer, short. Rebound taken by the Rams. Pine Richard will live with that one. Yes. As I said, he, he, he does a much better job offensively going to his left. Shanahan on that rebound, gives it over Jameson O'Toole, nearly loses it over to Dikowski, not a Lamondola. Back over to Dikowski. Looks off, Owen Llewellyn, back to Shanahan, back to Dudkowski, drive, the basket, no good, tip, no good, rebound Dudkowski, put back, no good, and finally wow, four he shots, puts Eddie. it back in Dudkowski. He would not give up on it. Four shots, Eddie. <coughs> 16 in the game. Dudkowski went away from his season average of 17 a game. Started slow, remember? Yes, started, started slow, number yes. Five, 58-48, the Rams with the lead with six to play here in the fourth. Owen the Wellen in for the lineup and Andrew Alexander in for the Rams. Gratz Miller with it for Butler. Over to Clement. It's a drive in the corner. Three-point shot and a net. Oh, good. 
Big shot. Ryan Porch with that. That tray. was a big shot. Yes. 58 51. We get a reach in foul. Man Clement picks up his second foul. Can't use your hands, Eddie. You got to use your feet. Fourth team foul on Butler. Still in the zone right now. There's a little pushing and shoving there. Nothing called. Andrew Alexander over to Dudkowski. 58 51 to Rams. Dudkowski's hooked by Clement. No foul call. Yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> Three-point attempt, no good. Rebound taken by Carney. And we have a collision, and I believe we're going to get a foul called here. That's on Andrew Alexander. Foul committed by number two, Andrew Alexander. Butler hanging around, Eddie. Butler's yep. hanging around. Butler got a break on a no call on a hooking foul. Yes. Going to a small lineup here, Eddie. Butler's in with a small lineup. Gratz Miller with it, takes it outside, rotate to Carney, he wants to drive baseline. Dipsy Doodle and lays it in. That was a great move. Great body control. 19 in the game for Carney. 58-53, the Rams with the five point lead, with 4.50 to play here in the fourth. Jump ball, Butler's basketball. Pine Richland don't, doesn't want to get a little tentative. They want to keep attacking, Eddie. You don't want to ever not be aggressive. Jamison O'Toole and Andrew Swordot check back in the lineup for the Rams. Butler with the basketball, 58-53. The Rams with the five-point lead with 4.40 to go. Here's Carney. Baseline move. Turnaround shot. Jumper. Oh, my God. He, he's putting on a show. Putting on a show. 21 in the game for Carney. See if, see if Pine Richland get, every time they got close, they've got a good shot. When I mean a good shot, I mean a layup. Let's see if they get another good shot here. Andrew Alexander with it. Over to Swartop. Back to Alexander. Back over to Swartop. I think this would be a good time for a timeout for Pine Richland. Be a great time for a Swartop timeout. Swartop drives, layup, good well, by Alexander. He didn't need it because Butler spread, spread herself thin. They went out for a steal instead of playing good defense. Saw the opening and attack. 60-55, yep. the Rams, 3.50 to play here in the fourth. That was a nice attack. Porch oh. with it for the tornado. With that dribble. Corny oh, just turns around and throws up a three, and he's going to get a foul call. And uh, Jameson O'Toole said, what am I supposed to do? He landed on top of me. Yeah, when you kick your legs out, Andy, that's, what the, that's the NBA outlaw that yeah. you, you can't. He kicks his legs out. And so o O'Toole had an argument there? Yes, definitely. His third foul. Check that. They're saying that's four on him. Wow. Corny misses. That's unusual. I hear someone above me. <laughs> that's NBA rule. Carney makes the second one, 60-56. 60 57 timeout, full timeout taken by Butler. Pine Richardson up 60-57, 3.46 to go. Well, usually when you call timeout here, you change your defense when you come out something three-quarter court press or something like that. But, or offensively, you call a set play next time down. You're calling a timeout to do something coming out of the timeout. What do you expect to see with Pines up 60-57? They've been in this situation. They've been able to drive the ball to the basket, and when they miss, they get their second shots. Yeah, the reason they're making the defense move side to side, then when they attack with the dribble, the defense side of position on the weak side, which is opposite the ball, and they, that's a, it's a bad rebounding defense. Uh, big section game for both teams. Uh, really bigger for Butler, no question. Yeah, I said it earlier. Pine, Pine three and two, Butler two and four. A, a, right. fifth, a fifth loss with, with them having to go back down to North Hills. And then uh, they, they have uh, two more games with North Allegheny. Remember, four out of the five make the playoffs. So you know, if Pine Richard gets this win, that puts them up like almost three full games on Butler. Not an easy game in the section. No. You see that by with Seneca winning two section games in a row over N.A. and Butler. 
It's been like that for a while, Andy. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're, this, this league is a beat em up league on the home. You got to carry your home team, home court. One thing when you play Seneca, it's always a physical game. Yes. They're a big, strong They always got big kids. Team. The Rams will inbound it. They're up by three with 3.40 to go here in the fourth quarter of play. Yeah, Shanahan. Half court trap. That's what they're in, Andy. Half court trap. Over to Shanahan. Down underneath. Kicks it back. And losing it is Andrew Alexander. Clement. He fires immediately a three. And he nails it. Wow. We're Big all shot. tied up. Big shot. Wow. Pull up three. 60 apiece. Butler has cut the nine point lead of the Rams. Shanahan with it. And he puts it in. They have to go to the big guy, Albert, the way Butler's playing. You want to go down underneath, Butler playing with a smaller lineup. Yes. And they almost caught that one. But Butler missed by a quarter of an inch of steal on that one also. Um, Coach Petschkas from from Pine I think he might have wanted a timeout before that ball went in, but he got the timeout after it went in. So I think he's kind of excited that we got the basket first. I, I, I'm, I'm going inside the Shanahan every time. You're either going to you're either going to foul him or he's going to score. Yeah, that, the pressure they come out of the pressure three quarter. I mean half court defense. Good timeout by Coach Clement. Double team in the ball everywhere. Pine Rush moved the ball the second time around and got the ball to Shanahan for a nice layup. 16 in the game for Shanahan. 23 in the game for Carney. Butler's leading score. 62-60 to Rams, 3.08 to play here in the fourth. I think every time we do a Pine Rush and Butler game, it comes down oh. to this, Eddie. <laughs> They've just been, time. been terrific games. <laughs> yes. Pines plays man the whole game, Eddie. I'll say that. that they never, never, never came out of it. Brayden Little John back outside to Carney. He's drawing double. Underneath, Gratzmiller sets himself. He shoots a three and he nails it. Great ball movement. Great ball movement. And for the first time in a long, maybe first quarter, Butler with a one point lead, 63 62. Swart out with it. They came out the double team card. Over to Dudkowski. And now they get a foul called inside. A reach in foul. That's on Corny. That's his third. That is. And that will send Shanahan to the line. He got the jersey, Eddie. When you, and you, know, when you see somebody grab the jersey, you're going to get called for that every time. Out of bounds plays have been a. Have been a deep okay, it's not a shooting foul. No, it's me. not. Both teams have scored out of bounds plays all night. Outside the sword out. Better job by Butler there. To Shanahan. Back underneath. Butler sleeping in a lay-in by Jameson yeah. O'Toole. You have your head on a swivel, Eddie. In the zone, you got to be looking behind you. It's too, I think that was uh, Clement that should have been looking behind him. Rams up, 64-63. Clement, or Carney pulls up, shot, no good. Tipped away, rebound, Dukowski of the Rams. He has a ball stripped away by Gratzmiller. Back outside, over to Carney. Gratzmiller always plays a solid game. Set play for Carney here is important. That's what I would run. A set play for Carney. Down to a minute 50 to go. Yeah, they're running one. They're clearing it out for him. He's going to go left, Eddie. I think he likes to go left. Guarded by Shanahan. He's going to go left. He's going to pull up. Jumper. No good. Tipped away. Rebound. Loose ball. Taken by the Rams. No, taken by Butler. Taken by the Rams. A foul called inside. I don't know how you call the foul when everybody was banging into one another. I think he got it right. I think he got it right. The ball changed possession because of the last hit. That foul on Nathan Zavasky, his second. Number two. There's some blood out there on uh, on the floor. 16 foul on the Rams. Three team fouls on Butler. So a minute 37 to go. Rams up 64-63. Braylon Little John will inbound it for Butler. One of the things I would uh, tell Carney offensively, he's such a great offensive player, that this is the time you take the ball to the basket. You don't want to pull up for a pull-up jump. Either shoot the three with your feet down or take it all the way to the basket. If three guys come to get you, you have good shooters on the floor. Gratz Miller with it. 
Kicks it back outside to Carney. Nearly loses it out of bounds. There's a little drawn over to Carney now. Behind the back dribble. He's looking to set up a three just the way he's moving. Guarded by Dukowski. Hop, step, turn, jumper, short. Rebound taken by James. Great Otto. defensive possession by Mike yes, Rich. Very good. Great now defensive they, possession. Now, now you, they got to hold it, right, Elwood? What do you think? They'll call timeout, and here it comes. A minute. You, you got to hold it for Butler to foul them, right? Yes. Butler has some fouls to give. They have a lot of fouls to give. Yeah, they have three. Yep. Taken by Pine Richard. As I said it earlier, 30 seconds ago, so, you so can't dilemma, pull up for a jump. Or Butler has a foul to give, but if the Pine wants to be aggressive, you take it to the hoop. Now you get fouled. You go to the foul line. They're not going to be aggressive. They're going to. You don't think? Gonna, nope. They'll, they'll, they'll take a layup. But it's an open it's door. Yeah, exactly. Um, right now, what you, be, you should be telling each team, Butler, you say, go for the steal because we, we have fouls to give. Don't just foul them. Try to steal. If the referee doesn't call it, that's okay. We'll go for the steal. Pine Richland's spacing is important. Make, make sure you have somebody in the middle always. And, and, and hit the middle and go opposite for a layup. Middle opposite is the is the term we use. Uh, down through the years, <laughs> every time the, 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 these games between Butler and Pine Ritson are just terrific. Yes. <laughs> Looks like it's going to come down to that uh, that magic word we, we use in all free throw things. It's called free. It's free. You're sitting there, but you got to make free throws to win it. So how many coaches died watching their kids shoot free throws? Uh, just some of the great players in this game down through the years between Dracovic and uh, Morton have just been terrific oh, series. Yes. Well, right now, I said Butler should go for a steal immediately three or four times. And if they have fouls to give. Pine Richland must be strong with the ball. It's called chinning the basketball. Bring it to your chin hard so don't leave the ball down low. Jameson O'Toole to inbound it. Gets it into Dutowski. Under a minute to play. The Rams up by one. Over to. They should be going for steals Alexander. and fouling right here. They should be going for steals and fouling. He's getting trapped. Over to Swart out. Back to Andrew Alexander. Back over to Jameson O'Toole. All over him is little John. Back over to Andrew Alexander. Kutkowski. Looked inside. Oh, he had a man open. We get a reach in foul. There's no reason not to double team. There should be double teaming all yeah. over and fouling. Going for the steal and fouling. It's a, it should be double teaming defense right here. Double Clement, team. Clement's third foul. Double team and go for the steal. Dutkowski with Like it. that. What did I just say, yeah, Eddie? They just got it. They yep. Back over to Corny. So, Butler will now play for one shot to win it. No, I think they'll take you the think? first. No, they'll take the first legitimate shot. They won't go all the way down. They'll Clement, take the first Clement one again. takes a full timeout, 64-63. You know, the play before that, there was a ram open up, open underneath the hoop, and they, 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 they missed it. Yeah, they missed, missed it. it. Well, I'll give Butler credit. They did go to the double team, and they finally went to the double team and got a steal. Move hands in basketball. Fake a pass, make a pass. Fake a pass, make a pass. That time, Pine Richard did not fake the pass. He got it tipped. Right now, it would be a good time to play a box on one on Carney. I don't know if Pine Richard has it in their repertoire, but you know that's what it's going to. So you, I, I, I would think you're going to double him up. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. I wouldn't. Let, I wouldn't let him go to the basket. That's for sure. But he can make miraculous shots. You know that. He can make a. He can make a shot in his sleep. Yeah. Soft balance and any angle. Yep. You know that's where they're going to though. I'll be shocked if they go anywhere else. Referees are huddling up right now. For your fans watching, the referee out at half court has the call on the last shot. It's not the guy underneath the basket. You know, it's funny in this series if you asked. Uh, Morton, who's the toughest player you ever played against, he'd say Dracovic. When you asked Dracovic, he said it was Morton. <laughs> Think about those two names. Oh, God. Well, you, you look between those two. Pine was in three straight championship games. Tremendous but players. Butler was in a couple of them. Lost one of them to Pine. And then Butler won the championship two years ago. So the, these two teams, a great, uh, great run the last eight or ten years. Pine Richardson's staying man to man. Okay. They're starting Carney on the baseline, so he's going to come off a couple screens here, Eddie. You go for a steal on the inbound or no? You're... I would, but they don't. Pine Richardson no, doesn't play that way. Well. They don't play that way. All right, Gratz Miller with it. We're done. Carney's coming off two screens here. 20, 20 seconds to play. Carney with the shot. Off balance. Rebound. Shanahan. And he's fouled. Wow. No one-on-one, that's the foul a couple more times. 
15 foul on Butler. Uh, what, they have one more to give. Great defense by Pine Richland there. See if they can get a steal here. Shanahan on the inbound, looking for help, gets it in, and there's a foul immediately on Carney. That's his fourth. That's what you do, though. You have to foul. But not That's a 16 foul against Butler with 10.3 seconds to go. So next one will result in a one and one I said it was coming down to free throws, Eddie. That's what's going to happen here. The question is, who do you want to, who do you want to foul? You don't want to foul. They should have it marked on a sheet right here who they want to foul. They should they have it marked down. O'Toole was two for three. Dutkowski is four for four from the line. The thing it is, you want to get into the guy that Carney's guarding. Dutkowski, Carney fouls out. Right. Yep. That'd be a goal. Now, are they are they aware of this? I mean, there's no timeout. I know Coach Petcash has to be aware of it. Referees looking at the clock, see if Tom should have ran off. They're talking about it right now. I, I didn't think enough time ran off. We're going to look myself. right now and see if they change the clock at all. I it's, thought I thought it was going to be under 10. They took one second off. They did. Okay, I thought it was They took a 10-3 to 9-3. Timeout. Timeout. Now, now you're going to see what Coach Petcash says to, to get it to get it into the guy that Carney's guarding. I know it's a little dangerous, but you forced Carney to fall yeah, out of the game. Yeah. I, yeah. Your the, thoughts on that? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what they're going to – but, but you got to get the ball to the first guy available. You can't do – Right, you can't right, wait. right. You can't – But it would be interesting if they can spot who's guarding. Well, he's guarding. He's guarding, he's guarding Dutkowski. Yes, so that would be the guy we try to get the ball down to. And he's not the guy you want to foul. No. Right now, Eddie, every kid's nervous in this gym, so usually 80% free throws become a 70% with 10 seconds left. They all go down 10, 10 percentage points because they're high school kids. You remember a few years ago when we did those two games, overtime oh, games yes. here, and then the packed house here, packed house down at Pine Ridge. It was tremendous. What tremendous games those were. We got another one tonight. Uh, one of the things I never did here, Eddie, I, I, I'd always want to release some guys deep. I don't want to I don't want to have everybody Before down force there. force them to retreat. Yes, because you have put too many guys on the, down the It bunches, bunches everything, bunches everything yeah. up. Exactly. Okay, I got it. Yes. 9.3 seconds left. Butler has one foul to give. Both, both teams with 16 fouls. And both teams with two timeouts left, Eddie. Shanahan on the inbound. Let's see. Now they take they take Carney off of Dutkowski. Dutkowski gets it, and he's fouled immediately. That's a good changeup by Butler. That foul on uh, Porch, his first. 17 foul on Butler. Well, you know we've said it a million times on our, our, our shows, Eddie. George and I believe totally. If he makes both these free throws, full court pressing, you foul him when he gets over half court. You, you know, know we, we were doing the Butler and Seneca Valley game, and uh, uh, Seneca Valley was up by three, and Nathan Snodgrass got the ball, and George and I said, they got to foul him. They right. let him go, shoot the tray, send it into overtime, yeah. Butler won. Yeah, we think we believe in foul. We both do. Got to make the free throw first, though. The Kowski Big makes the first one. Big free throw. He is five for five at the line. That's courage right there, buddy. He's now, nice he's now at his season average of 17 a game. Yeah, he shoots in rhythm. I like his same, same rhythm every time. Makes them both. 66-63, Pine with 8.4. So you want to foul, you have a foul to give. You yeah. want to oh, foul right believe, away. Yeah, oh yeah, there's no good. First of all, yeah, yeah. you, you, you want to, don't foul in the back one. You, you want time to go off, and when they yeah. cross over half court, right. that's when you foul. Let them run off about four. You want yes, to press, four seconds make, off. Make, make, force yes. them to use up four or five seconds. Exactly right, Eddie. Seems so like if he may, may, even if he makes both foul shots, by the time he inbound at the end, game's over. Yeah, they're going to, if, if they do it right, and turn the ball one time, foul, they'll be fouled with about about four seconds left in the game. That'll, that'll make them make the first and miss the second, and then we'll see what happens. I remember when Butler Newcastle played when Sarandria had that steal in Thomas. Butler right. was winning by three, and uh, they got fouled Newcastle. He makes a first shot. Sarandria calls timeout, tells him to miss that second one. He hits the back. They get it, put it back in for two, go into overtime and win. Yeah, that's that's you, the, you talk about crazy wild strategy. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the downside of what we talked about. But I'll take my chances. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Three or four things happen. That, that was a perfect shot that that, that kid missed. Yes. A perfect miss, I should say. 
8.4. They have plenty of time to get a shot. Okay, they're pressing like they, we said they should. Let the ball come in. Go and, go let, let the ball come in. You don't want to deny the pass in. Pass in the inbound. It. Let it and, come in. And you don't you don't want to foul on a three-point attempt. No, you let the ball come in. You turn it one time. Carney with it. Okay, and they fouled him get the foul. early. He got, uh, uses up uh, two seconds off the clock, so they send Carney at the line to shoot two. Foul on Tukowski. I like the foul part. I just think it would happen too early. I, I don't think he wanted to let him cross half court and set up and shoot. Because if he doesn't foul him there, there's no one in front of him. Carney, the first one, he has 20. Four points in the game. Crane Bucker checks in the lineup Number for Butler. Carney makes a second one. 25 in the game. Good timeout here. Timeout time by Clement. He picks a 30 second timeout. 66 65, the Rams, but 6.8 seconds left. I put a guy on the ball here, and I try to tip the inbound ball on the ball, uh, on the ball. I will not take a guy off the ball here. I put Charlie on the ball, tell you the truth. Big guy on the ball, try to deflect the inbound pass. You, you have Shanahan inbound it? <laughs> he's, he's so dependable, he can do everything, but I like him getting the, the, getting you, the, you, the you, inlet. You know they want to get it into Dutkowski. Yeah, yeah. He's, he hasn't missed the free throw all night, has he? Six for six. Yes. A lot of strategy going in here, Eddie. A lot of strategy. Coach Peck has decided to foul. I think he just fouled a little too early. That's all. The Rams are 10 to 13 from the foul line. Both teams just hit two four big free throws. That's not. It's easier than it looks. <laughs> Both just hit free throws. Uh, just a terrific game, hard fought game. Yes. This is e what you equal expect teams. between these two teams. Yes. Yes. About as equal as you can get. Right. As we say, Shanahan will inbound There's it. the one for Somebody should be releasing deep here. Uh, Little John on Dutkowski. There. Get the inbound. Saved by the Rams. No, off of punch, out of bounds, Eddie. Okay, five seconds left. Wow. He has one timeout, see if he uses it right here. What a, what a huge turnover for the Rams. Never liked those corner passes. Well, what happened, Eddie, is I said, I, I ran a 1 4 a lot. I always released down the floor. I told you I don't want. They, to, they released those two. But I would have released another guy. And I would have kept. Then keep two down. Yeah. Both, both sides. Yes, one yes. down the middle. One down the side. Yeah, exactly. And, and they, they opened the court for two guys. You got to look adjusted down there. That's what happens. I don't think he could run the baseline there either. That's, that, yeah, I'm trying to think if he could. Yeah, I think he could have after two free throws. Is that, is that right? Yeah, after two free yeah, throws. Yeah, so he could have run the baseline there too. He should have ran the baseline, got a better passing game. I always thought the way Brunton, he was going to get it inside. Uh, someone coming back inside to him because you almost have to follow him once you flip him the ball. Those. Diagonal passes are always dangerous. Should we go five seconds left? Try to make sure we get a good view here in the corner, see what Butler's strategy is. Five seconds here for Butler. They could stay in contention or playoff berth or could be looking at a possible situation where they dropped the last place in the section. Toughest place to inbound in basketball where the ball's out of bounds, Eddie. Okay, let's see. Carney's coming back to the ball right up here, right here. Carney's going to come back to the ball. Patterson, the inbound it. Gets it in. Turn around shot. No good. Tipped away. That's the end of the game. Wow. Wow. What a game. Nice call by Coach Clement. Great defense by Pine Richland. Made him shoot the ball with his left hand, Eddie. Made him what? shoot the ball with his left hand. At a final quarter, Butler scored 17, 
and pying just enough. They scored 12 to come away with a 66-65 win. They go to four and two in the section, eight and five on the year. Butler drops to eight and five and two and five in the section, and really um, uh, drops them to the last place or a last place tie with Seneca Valley's at North Hills tonight. Yeah, Butler got the ball where they wanted to. That's all you can do as a coach. Get the ball in, the, in, in your best player's hands at the spot to score. Put it right down in there to, on, the, on the block. I was I get Pine Ridge credit. They didn't foul it. A lot of times, right. you that know, was you foul key. You, 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 you thought you would see something uh, like that in the way of a, of a foul. Yes, they did just, not foul. Just check, looking at the scoring for Pine Richland, uh, Andrew Swardoff finished with 12, Luke Shanahan with 16, Joey Dutkowski with 18, Jameson with two with 12. You got four of your starters in double figures spread it out. It's pretty tough to beat that. Yeah, you notice the pace slowed down a lot in the fourth quarter already. Yeah. And uh, uh, there was a lot of coaching being done. I, I, I don't think anybody lost this game. No, I think, it, I think just a great game. game. That's, yeah. a, that's what I'll say. Andrew yes. Alexander with eight for Butler Carney with 25. Uh, Rain Bratz, another quietly, he had a very solid game. He finishes with 13. Matt Clement, 10 points all in the second half. Two for Charlie Cranebucker. Colin Patterson, he finished with five. Six for Braden Littlejohn. And three for Ryan Porch. It was 16 16 after one, 38 to 29, Pine at the half. 54-48, Pine after three, and then this final 66-65. We, we looked at the game, and we said before the game, they match up. They match up stride for stride with each other. Um, I think I think that uh, early in the game, the boards killed Butler. Then they made the adjustment that, and Pine Richard attacked that, and down the second half in the fourth quarter, Butler really played hard. Yes. Get their belt, got a couple turnovers. Did everything you're supposed to do. It comes down to one shot, rolls off the rim, eh? and then we got a winner in Pine Ridge. And, and you know, uh, Pine started the year off one and three. They they lost three games in a row by a total of eight points. A good teams of Mount Lebanon and Upper St. Clair. Now they they rallied to win seven out of their last nine, four and two in the section. Butler dropped to two and five in the section. And Albert, they got road games. They have to go back to Pine, where they lost first. Then they have to go back to North Hills. They have a road game at North Allegheny. Yeah, the, the, the road is hard for them, but it's not impossible because they have, they have the best player in the league. And, and, and I like the rest of the Butler team, too. They can, they can play the game. I think Coach Clement, the big thing with him is keeping the, the emotions. Keep them up because the, 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 yes. they've lost three straight lost session games. Lots of tough games. games, yes. All right, that does it for us here at Butler High School. With final score, once again, Pine Ridge and Rams 66, Butler 65 on behalf of our uh, executive uh, director, cameraman, Matt Lutz. Yes. On behalf of uh, my sidekick here, Albert Campman, this is Ed Cody wishing you a good night. We'll be back on the air again with a girls game when Seneca Valley travels to North Catholic February the 12th for a Saturday afternoon game. That does it here for us. Have a good night. From high school sports to community events and beyond, you can find all of your favorite local shows on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Hi, I'm Trisha from the Butler Buzz. You can watch my show or other local programming like Up for Adoption or Hunting Nostalgia only on the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Check us out right now on Channel 100 or search Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube for playlists and much more. Spirit, town pride, community. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. Greetings everyone, Matthew Kramer, Music Director of the Butler County Symphony here, inviting you to a musical tour of the Scottish Highlands. We begin our program with Hector Berlioz's Rob Roy Overture, before turning to Max Brooks' Scottish Fantasy, a work that's based off of numerous Scottish folk tunes. Our violinist is Jinju Cho, who has won first prize at so many violin competitions around the world, a marvelous young violinist. On the second half of the program, we have Felix Mendelssohn's Symphony No. 3, The Scotch, which was composed in 1842, but inspired by a trip that he took to the Scottish Highlands in 1829. A marvelous all-Scotch program. We hope you can join us February 5th at 7.30. Level up your internet. 
Zoom Extreme from Armstrong gives you unlimited data at our fastest speeds available. That means unlimited gaming, unlimited streaming, and unlimited downloading with no fear of overage charges, delivered on our super reliable fiber optic network. But that's not all. Zoom's enhanced Wi-Fi provides complete coverage throughout your home, to the devices that need it most, and it gets better each day. Take advantage of the best value in broadband. Zoom Extreme from Armstrong. The future is faster. The future is now.